Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. If you don't know me, my name is Candice and you definitely should subscribe to my channel because Candyland is lit, okay? And if you want to be a part of the land, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now, okay? So, um, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be giving you guys some products that I've been using for my skincare routine, specifically for the fall. Um, these are not products that I use like well some I do use but not all of these products um, that I use like during other seasons so if you guys want to see what products I've been using for my skin then keep on watching all right you guys so um I'm gonna be honest like I did I think one skincare routine video and it was pretty like plain because I really don't do much um and actually today was really not a good day for me to film this video because I'm TMI I am on my cycle so um I'm having like a little bit of a breakout right now anyway but on a good day I really don't have um like acne prone skin or um scarring or blemishing or anything like that so um yeah like my skin is pretty good um and this is like not to brag or anything because i do have terrible bags under my eyes like to the point where like i should probably do a separate video about the products that i use for my under eyes but i'm going to include everything in this video so let's go ahead and get started a couple of things i'm going to tell you guys about is what i use um in the shower and this is um basically a daily type of thing so I'll be letting you guys know what I use daily and then what I use just like sometimes like as needed. So um, I have been com combining these two products. This is the St. Ives Fresh Skin um, Apricot Scrub and then the Clean and Clear Night Relaxing Deep Cleaning Face Wash. And this is a cleanser and then this is um, like an exfoliating scrub. I don't use this every day but like four times a week. I know they say like you're really not supposed to use like an exfoliating scrub so much but my skin is not that sensitive when it comes to these types of products. At least this one doesn't like break me out or do anything crazy and so when I do use uh, this product I do use the cleanser on top and then on the days that like I just don't feel like scrubbing my face or whatever in the shower I will just use the cleanser but this is every single day um, I will use one of these every single day but for the most part I'm using this one the most and I really love the clean and clear um, line of like face washes and stuff they have one that's called morning burst they have like I can't think of all the names, but they come in like different colors. So the morning one is like an orange one, then there's like a yellow one, and then this one is supposed to be like, just for like the nighttime or whatever. But um, I use it like during the daytime, like when I'm going out in the daytime and showering for like the day. I still use this, but it definitely does have some minerals that help you sleep and relax. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, it doesn't make you like droggy or anything like that, but it's supposed to be like calming and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure that's why they recommend it to be um, like a nighttime relaxing type of thing but I feel like you can use it at any time so yes these two things stay in my shower um, this is like a must for me um, I definitely pair these sometimes or just use one without the other depending on how my skin is going again right now I'm like experiencing a breakout because um, it is my time of the month so it's really not much extra I can do because like it's a hormonal breakout not necessarily because I'm just like not taking care of my skin if that makes any sense so yes this is like the first kind of like step to what I do use Alrighty, you guys so um the next thing that I definitely would recommend that has been working for me for sure is um 
I do, and I think I mentioned this um, in another video, but I do use the Nivea Oil Infused Lotion. And I use this on my face, you guys. I use this on my whole body. So when I get out of the shower, like I literally moisturize my entire body in Nivea. Like I love Nivea. I love all of them. This one is the Cherry Blossom with um, jojoba oil or jojoba, 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 I don't know. But it's J-O-J-O-B-A, so. I use all of the Nivea ones. They have one that's just like the plain one. They have one that has the um, cherry blossom and then they have one that I think is like coconut or something. But I use them all. They're very good. They smell good. They're lightweight. Um, this lotion, like I said, is good for your whole body, even your face. For me personally, don't take my word for it and break out. Just try it and see a little bit goes a long way with this product. So yes, this is what I put on my whole entire face and body especially when I get out of the shower and I do that um, kind of like scrub or cleanser next thing that I do um, and I do this twice a day because like I told you guys in the beginning of this video I definitely have terrible under eyes like the bags under my eyes have gotten so bad you guys like it's crazy the guys like it's to the point where I'm legitimately like considering getting an eye lift like i'm so serious like it's not good at all so yeah l'oreal revitalift so basically this product is like a um it's an eye cream and um it looks it looks like this like it comes in this little push out thing and it's like a white cream and basically what you do is you kind of take this and you just kind of put it under your eyes and massage it under your on your bags basically um you're supposed to do it twice a day to see results um at first i put way too much and then it just kind of like looked crazy but you definitely just apply this twice a day and it does kind of start to lighten up under your eyes a little bit but you have to be consistent so i do this twice a day this was from target it was about 22 dollars i believe um so yeah this is the l'oreal revitalift it comes in like this little box a little goes a long way you guys i thought i had to like squeeze this but like no you don't have to squeeze it after i'm done kind of working on my under eyes and just kind of like massaging that product under it um again this is after I've put on like the Nivea body cream and stuff like that and then I put that on top of that so I'm kind of getting pretty moisturized after that like you know you can definitely see that my skin is not dry it's looking super moisturized and healthy so I seal both of those products in with the Valjean Labs rose water and glycerin facial mist and that was like a handful I mean a mouthful that was a mouthful, not a handful. Basically, this is um, a facial mist that I bought from TJ Maxx, and I believe they sell it at Ross as well. But you can really get rose water like anywhere from both of those department stores, and it may not be by it may not be by Valjean. It could be by someone else. But rose water is really good for your face. It's refreshing, and it just kind of gives your face like a a natural glow like a natural type of like <sighs> about you i don't know how to explain it this one has glycerin but you know they have different ones that let's say if you wanted to do rose water and olive oil or rose water and what's the other one that they had there's one that has rose water and witch hazel i haven't tried that one yet um but this one works just fine it smells Oh my god you guys like it smells so good and I don't even know why I sprayed it like y'all can smell it because I was so freaking stupid but like if this was a perfume I would like legit wear it because I love like scents that are not like you can tell that this is just like this is just how it smells because like it's a rose water and it naturally smells really good it doesn't have like heavy perfumes or dyes like it's a clear type of color like it doesn't have like a pink because it's rose water and they just put a whole bunch of dye in it so that's really good too so yeah i basically seal in both of those products with this and i just kind of like let my face you know kind of dry so 
On a day that I'm not wearing any type of makeup or anything like that, that is literally all that I do, you guys. Like, I have in the shower, I either use those two products, the Clean and Clear or the Apricot Scrub, or both. After that, I will moisturize with the Nivea, and then I will do the Revitalift eye cream under my eye, and then I will spray my face with some rose water and glycerin, and after that, I am good to go. Now, on a day like today, what I'm gonna do when I finish filming this video, um, wearing makeup, I do do things a little bit different because my skin obviously has products on it. So I do do things a little bit differently. First thing that I will do, um, typically, I know a lot of times people when they take off their makeup, they just kinda like, take it off and then like that's it but I always have to get like in the shower um, after I take off my makeup no matter what like I have to just do everything so but the first thing that I will um, use is the up and up brand makeup remover cleansing towelettes and obviously it's up and up so it's from Target and basically it's just these makeup wipes um, it's like the generic ones or whatever and um, they do a pretty good job at removing the makeup from your face but again like I said I always have to get in the shower and do like my skincare routine but before I like start that I want to just kind of take off the surface makeup so that's why I use the up and up brand in the shower and I use these two products um, before I go ahead and move on to the Nivea like I said I use this right away after I've used those two products in the shower. But on a day like today where I'm wearing makeup, I do add in another step using the Sephora mask and um, obviously from Sephora. And this is like an avocado type of like face mask. And so basically this mask is what you use after you've like washed and cleansed your face. This is like an extra step basically to kind of like penetrate and remove any clogged pores um so once you apply this on um, all over your face i believe you leave it on for like three to five minutes and then you don't wash this off with like soap you just like take warm water and rinse it off of your face so there's nothing else that you need to do after which is why this is going to be like the last step of the cleaning process when i wear makeup after the shower same thing after I've done that step and I've rinsed that uh, mask off I definitely was still going with the Revitalift and the rose water um, facial mist and this acts like a good primer to you guys but I'm gonna show you something else that I've been using as like an added primer but this works just fine I've definitely went in and put on makeup after just using this so I would suggest to like for you guys to try that out as like a just a normal kind of like lightweight primer to use my um, booster drops from elf so this one is, I should have showed you guys because I just bought all new um, skincare, so I should have showed you guys the new one that I bought. But this is from e.l.f. It's the Sun Kiss Booster Drops. And it's like a gold complexion, but it comes in like this little squeezy tube or whatever. And it's super lightweight and it doesn't have color. I'm definitely big on things that don't have added dyes and preservatives in it because I just feel like that's just too much. So I like things that are like clear and you know, don't have too many like bright colors. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's going on my face and obviously that color came from me, someone manufacturing and dyeing it. So yes, I will go in with this just as an added um, moisturizer only because, um, Again, like I'm doing a lot to kind of get this stuff out of my face. So I need something to kind of seal in the moisture that I'm putting back into it. So after the facial mask, I definitely will massage all this in with these booster drops. And you can use this as well before your makeup. So this is what I was talking about as the um, primer. So I will use the rose water and glycerin facial mix mist as well as the um, these booster drops. Okay so after i've pretty much done all that and i've put like my face through a lot um basically let's just say um i'm not going to use the revitalift um because sometimes this works good under makeup and sometimes it doesn't so if i'm like in a hurry and i don't have time to kind of like let this sit and penetrate my skin i will use my 24 karat eye gold sheet mask 
I got these from Forever 21. And these are basically just sheet masks that go under your eye. And they come in like these little packages. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but it's like these little gold packages. It's firm, glow and detox under your eyes. And it's supposed to be 24 karat gold. We obviously know this is not real gold, but you know, it sounds nice, okay? So yeah, you put these little um, strips under your eyes and you just kind of let them sit. So like I said, if I don't have time to kind of wait for the Revita lift to kind of like penetrate my skin so it's not so oily and I have to hurry up and get dressed, I will leave this on for like five minutes and then start doing my makeup because this kind of helps as well with the under eyes um but it doesn't leave like a really moisturized type of under eye feel so it won't be that hard to like put on makeup last but not least you guys the most basic part of all of this i mean that was basic too but you know you know um i have been using the carmex strawberry lip balm and I'm sure all of you guys know about Carmex. So when I've done all these different things to my face, I find that my lips become very, very dry. And I think it's super weird to like put lotion on your lips because like who does that? And I kind of just put that on my lips and it definitely is not uncomfortable. Um, I did try to use the Burt's Bees, but it just felt like I was putting Elmer's Roller Stick glue on my lips and I like the fact that they have different flavors they have like a mint one they have like a blueberry one and then a strawberry one there's like a multi-pack and that's what I currently have I literally have a chapstick next to my bed there's one inside of my bathroom and my purse like I literally keep them everywhere all around my house because like who wants dry lips okay thank you so much for watching mainly all these products you can find um at target but i'll definitely try my best to remember to list everything below but if i don't and you guys have questions please write me below um like i said this works for me and my skin okay i don't know what's gonna work for you and your skin but you're more than welcome to try i am not a healthcare professional so I don't know what's gonna happen you know what I'm saying but what I can tell you is I've seen great results for myself so if you want to try it try it at your own risk okay I do have to say that in these videos because you know sometimes people take things and get carried away and everyone's skin is different and also you guys please make sure to subscribe and be a part of the candy land because we are lit okay we were lit so thank you guys so much and you guys have an awesome week Bye.